Howdy y'all, it's time for Science with Alex, the new trademark camp programming. So what we're going to do today is one of my favorite experiments. It's called the rainbow bubble saw snake. So what we need is you'll need some water, some dish soap, a water bottle, and a sock. And if you want to get extra cool, you can throw some food coloring in there. Today I'm going with blue and green because the day we're filming this is Earth Day. So happy Earth Day y'all. As you can see, we're sitting outside a beautiful day here at camp camp we wish that we'll see y'all soon out here but for now gotta see you through the internet so for this project what we're going to first start is we're going to take a water bottle and some scissors so if you need someone in your household to help you out grab them on over so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut the bottom off of this water bottle so you can cut when you cut that off we're going to be keeping the top where you use the lid so this is going to be how we're going to make our bubble snake. You can do a lot of different sizes. This one's kind of small, got a medium, and then we also got an extra small. So as you see, all the different sizes, they will all kind of work. So our next step is we're going to take our sock. So this is what's going to hold on to all of our lovely bubble juice that we're going to be making here in a little bit. So for me, you can use this whole sock, but this one's kind of long for what I'm using. So we're going to use some scissors a little bit more. So if you need to grab that friend to help you out, we're just going to cut off the bottom. So we're going to make sure we just kind of have the part where our toes go into on the very bottom. So what we're going to do with our little sock cap is we're going to put it right on over our water bottle. So we make sure it is nice and tight so we have a nice little connection that looks just like this. What I'm going to use to secure it is I'm going to use some latex free rubber bands. So I'm just going to wrap it around twice trying to just keep that sock in place. You can use whatever you like. Sometimes the sock's going to be perfect just the way it is. Sometimes you might need to use some duct tape or things like that. So we got our bubble blower all set up. Now it's time to make our lovely bubble juice. So I got a lovely bowl right here. I'm going to put a nice helping of dish soap just to make sure we get some good bubbles in there. With that, I'm just going to pour some water in there, making, as someone once called, told me, some good old bubble juice. For me, you can use a fork, spoon, or whatever to mix it up. I just like using my fingers, so I'm going to mix it up, make sure that we're starting to form some bubbles in there. Awesome. That looks like grade A bubble juice. So now that we got our steps, we got our bubble juice. We got our bubble blower. Now it's time to make our rainbow bubble snake. So what we're going to do is with our food coloring, we're just going to put a couple drops right on the top of that sock. I'm going to put some all around. As you know, the earth is majority water. So I'm going to put a lot of blue to represent our oceans and our rivers and our lakes. Then I'm going to put some green showing off all of our land. You know, here in the continental U.S., the biggest place is Texas. So we got to make sure we got our good spot for Texas right there in the center because we're Texans. Texas is always at the center of our heart. Just make it kind of look all sorts of different colors right there. Now what we're going to do is we got it ready. We're going to put it into our bubble mix, swish it around, make sure we got a good amount of bubbles all stored up. And what we're going to do is we're going to get it real close and we're just going to shoot some air through here and get some nice bubble snake action. So let's, here we go. Three, two, one. As you see, you can have all sorts of bubble snakes. And guess what? You're ready to go again. Shake off all those old bubbles. Go around, swirl it around in that bubble juice. Get it all loaded up, ready to go. Drip out some of that extra water, and then you're ready. Three, two, one. There you go. And with this, you can do any colors you want. If you want to do your favorite tribe, you can do red, blue, yellow, or green, representing our coyotes, armadillos, Mustang or Puma. Don't forget those scorpions with those orange. Or you can just do a nice good old rainbow. Any color works. So with that being said, thank you for joining me here today with Science with Alex. I look forward to seeing you the next time with another cool science project. So until then, have a great day and I'll see you later.